Hello, remember me? Mika here, also known as Dr. October. Happy Friday, how are you all doing? Cheers. I hope the music is coming well through. Thanks for tuning in. I wasn't originally planning to do a video today, but after a couple of beers, after spinning a couple of kick-ass records, I got in the mood and I have a couple of uh, recent acquisitions that I have yet shown. I have not shown yet, uh, so I thought I would do a very quick one. One of the recent acquisitions is what we are listening currently, German band Pisse. Pisse. If I remember well, it means piss in English. Oh, this is the first press. There's a second pressing with a slightly different cover. Uh, but yeah. A friend of mine in Finland uh, pointed me this band and thanks for that. Really liking it. Let's let it play in the background so you can also hear how it sounds. It's not a long one, long album. Okay, as I said, it's gonna be a quick one. Uh, got this 7 inch this week. Uh, this was shown by Ryan Kitt on his video. And uh, yeah, had to go for it. A side is more like a power pop uh, song, and B side is a little bit darker in tone, I think. And uh, I don't know how I would call it more new wave ish, post punk ish. Anyway, oh, okay, the next one is uh, I um, I've seen this before uh, online, but uh, I saw uh, like a kind of review by this one uh, guy, uh, Winston Winkle had to cheer it up from there. Winston Winkle, well, I want to give a shout out to, I put his uh, channel in the description below. He showed this one, uh, Venom Welcome to Hell, 40th year anniversary, I grabbed it as well. He said it sounds great, so took his word for it and it sounds great I never had that one uh, dropping inserts didn't have that one and if I remember well Cosmic Brian uh, from Cosmic Vinyl shouted out shout out uh, Weston first so that's how I found Weston cool channel go and check it out young guy showing a lot of uh, you know 80s 90s and more recent uh, hardcore punk metal Came with this kind of fold out poster, the Venom. And uh, yeah, look insert. I'm happy. I'm sorry about the shakes of the camera because because of my contraption here, my camera stand, it's gonna just shake every time I pick up the next record. This kind of. Okay, next one, I bought this locally here. Um, don't have to talk much about cash. So Johnny Cash is, is, that, is this the second of the American recordings? Uh, yeah, second one, Unchained. I uh, haven't listened to this other than uh, check the sound quality because um, it was pretty scuffed up when I got it. Uh, to a bargain bin purchase, so it wasn't very expensive. Um, yeah, it's a reissue of quite recent year. Yeah, standard black. We all know Johnny Gash, but I, I didn't have any of his 90s stuff. So I took that. Um, oh yeah, have some time. Okay, this one is the last of my Grease find records. It's a French band, the Gorgons. Stuff Delays. Basically, on, per, uh, solely on the cover purchase and kind of the song titles. It's kind of garage surf rock with a like, kind of pop sentimentality. It's not so much, but... Couldn't find much other songs of theirs on YouTube, some older stuff, which actually sound better than this record. But it's, it's nice, it's a bit too sleek production to sound like a, like a garage rock that I, you know, like more, but uh, still fun. And those pictures of the guys also sold it pretty well to me. Um, no needle drops of that, no. Uh, that's the label. Yeah, the I mentioned it was a French band. And uh, wrong because I'm going so quickly, I forget to say the years or the labels. Apologies. 2009. And uh, what is this? Dem Dem Bear Me Demolition Records. All right. Next one. 
I cannot say much about this one. I've only listened this once and I didn't pay all the time that much attention. This is like a power pop band from the 80s, early 80s, 1984, not that early anymore, but still. Uh, wasn't that big of, first impression wasn't that great. That's why I don't remember really much. A couple of catchier tunes, earworm tunes, but uh, yeah, uh, online purchase, it was cheap, a couple of bucks and uh, sold it on the cover. And I think there was something in YouTube that I checked quickly before I bought it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad, but nothing spectacular. Um, long songs, and that I don't think it fits so well with power pop and, and, and that kind of stuff. Like, I'm just thinking of the A's, or um, I don't know, always names escape me when I'm trying to think, but I was thinking along that line, if I compare it, not that great of a power pop album. Yeah. Polydor. And next is two this next two ones I bought here from a bargain bin. The Budapest Howling Wolf Vinyl Lovers reissue on 180 grams. Yeah, Howling Wolf again, don't really have to say much about it. How much do I have time? Last song is coming, so oh it's gonna be a quick video. Um this is a reissue from 2016. This album sounds very good. I really like this one. Uh, listened to it only once, but I really digged it. I sat down and, and probably listened to it with a beer on the side. Mm. Same can't be said. Oh yeah, let me say, it's morning in the moonlight. Good stuff. Some label action. Uh -huh. And another Howling Wolf. This song doesn't sound as good. Um, this is a sort of compilation, I think. Yeah, heart like railroad steel. What is the label? Blues ball. So I suspected this was a bootleg or was an un unofficial pressing. I mean, the feel and the look of it when you see it like this, it gives that vibe to me at least. And the recording quality is, I mean, already when it was recorded, let's face it, wasn't that great. Okay, this one I bought same time with the Howling Wolves from a bargain bin, Ennio Morricone. Uh, what is this? Themes, Psycho. There's a four, series of four of these themes recordings. And uh, I bought the Psycho, it was like 18 bucks. Double vinyl, music on vinyl, at the movies version on uh, red wax. Wasn't prepared for this, but what the hey? I'm not gonna edit now anymore. Gotten this far without an edit. So here's the wax and the label. Fucking hell, maybe I will even put the, the A side. A side on on this piece. Pisse record. I think it's self-titled. There is no real um, no name for the album. No title, but I will correct it with a caption, if I'm mistaken. Moray! Right, A side. Okay, one more record to go. Oh, let me first throw. It's pretty sweet packaging, gatefold on this. So, movie posters, adverts, whatever of the movies, where the songs have been taken from. Pretty spooky stuff, like, yeah, Psycho is the theme. Very sturdy. Music on vinyl does this series at the movies. Uh, pretty good quality so far that I've gotten. Uh, here's the pipe sticker. Oh yeah, numbers. Was it numbered? Yeah. 2453. Little details. Alright, last one that I bought here from uh, Wave Records shop that I frequently visit, a classic punk rock album, Attack, Zombies, yeah, you're gonna love the artwork, this is a radiation reissue from 2019, 2015, apologies, originally 1983, UK band, and uh, yeah, themes are pretty much like horror, uh, around horror, <laughs> see you in hell, zombies, demons, face the slayer, it's kind of like a mix of, when I was listening to this, uh, it's been a while since I've heard this, so it was kind of like rediscovering an album. And uh, yeah, exploited, uh, I don't know, what 
else. Anti Nover League, stuff like that. Eater, even. Uh, tonally, quite uh, like, you know, experimental. Not just one type of punk. And, and, and definite oi uh, uh, undertones, oi elements in it. Mm, that's cool. Just 11 minutes in. I think it's a good time to wrap it up. Thanks for tuning in. I have this feeling again, like usually I do, that I've forgotten something. Yes, now I remember. Tomorrow again, Doctor and the Kid live stream. Be sure to join and come out, hang out with us. And uh, uh, and uh, yeah, it's always fun. I mean, we talk nothing of important there usually, but it's fun to shoot shit. Uh, yeah, all right. Thanks again. Have a wonderful weekend. Hope you kicked your work ass, your workplace's ass this past week. Bye bye now. <laughs>